Amber. Welcome back to my channel. Happy holidays. Oh, hope you had a great Thanksgiving and um, are gearing up for the Christmas holiday shopping season. Anyways, so today we are going to be doing the first part in what is going to be, um, I think like a three part series of one of my most requested DIYs ever, which is crystallized body jewelry. Um, if you are big on Instagram like me, y'all know these are hella trendy right now um, and not to mention hella pricey. So I thought I would make my own and show you guys how to do it. So today we are going to bust out, ah ha ha, get it? I'm hilarious, what a pun. Um, we're going to bust out the first um, project in the series which is going to be the crystal bra so today I'm going to show you how to do this because it's easy cheap and looks amazing so here we go do it yourself crystal bra oh my god look at this is this not an aesthetic or what wow okay anyways so here is what you're going to need you're going to need some crystal uh ribbon I guess this is literally like you can kind of see it's just like a track of crystals so I will google this and find out what this is actually called and link you guys to some to buy in the description fabulous and this is what we're going to use to create this look you are also going to need yourself some little uh, lobster claws and clasps third of all you need what is called artistic wire um it looks like a spool of thread but it's actually a spool of really thin little wire and that is what we're going to use to oops there it goes <laughs> pick that up there anyways um this is what we're going to use to attach um the crystals basically to themselves, you'll see in a second, but get yourself some artistic wire, good to go. We're also going to need some tweezers and some scissors. Yes, I finally got some tweezers that are slightly less disgusting, so there we go. Grab your favorite pair of tweezers, some scissors, and that is all you need. We will be good to go. Alrighty, so step number one is going to be trimming the crystals. As you can see, this particular part already happens to be the perfect length to be the triangle from my bra. So we're just gonna move along to this string, which is going to be kind of like the waistband midsection thing. Um, and you will just wrap that around your waist until you see where it fits, give it a trim. Then also you gotta do the shoulder strap. So again, we're just kind of eyeballing it here, seeing um, custom measurements sort of to where you're gonna want it to be. Like I said, you can just trim it with scissors, boop, and it will go right through, no need for having hardware and you will be good to go to start on the craft. Alrighty, so there we go. Then you will just lay the pieces together so you can kind of see how it's going to be a bra. Um, these are the pieces that I cut first. This is the body piece and these are the shoulder strappy pieces that I cut. So you can see this is how we're going to kind of lay it all together. And now all we need to do is fasten, because see these aren't connected, we need to fasten this together and that is where the craft wire comes in. All right, so you're just gonna wanna apply open one of the little lobster clasps and take the body chain. Here you can see, sorry, this is so close up. Um, and my nails look really bad today because I like wanted to start this project. So I just let them get all messed up. Like this one's a mess. Anyways, not important. So then you're gonna wanna take the body chain and what you're gonna wanna do is attach this in through the center like this. So you can see these kind of have like little racks. And what you're gonna wanna do is you can attach this through underneath the bottom there. Ba-bam, there we have it. Like I said, I know I apologize, it's really hard to see, but there you go. You can kind of see the little clasp is through there. there. Um, and what you're gonna wanna do is slip this in through the clasp, just like I did in the choker video. There we go, bada bing. This is so hard to see, I'm sorry you guys, but um, there, what I did was slip the clasp through the clasp. And then you will just go ahead and press to close that up. So now, super close up, let me show you looks like this. There you go, you can kind of see the lobster clasp attached via the ring, ba-bam. You're gonna wanna go ahead and do the other side too. As you can see, I actually did two. I looped in one right there, and then I put in a bigger one just so it'd be easier for me to close the clasp um, so it could dangle more outside of it. So you'll just close those up, and then as you can see, you will be able to close the clasp, ba-bam, and this is going to be the back of your bra. So here we go. You can see I laid this down flat in a circle. This is where the um, your back, like your body will go in here, and this would be the front. And this is the back where the bra is going to clasp. And now we're going to take these pieces, and this is what we're going to do with these. These are going to be the front um, kind of triangle part of the bra, if you kind of can see what I'm saying here, like your boobs will go here. <laughs> um, so what we need to do is connect this piece to this piece, and that is where the wire is going to come in. All right, so like I said earlier, this is kind of like just a wiry string. Um, so it kind of looks like a spool of thread. You can just unwire a bunch. And what we're gonna do is sort of essentially sew the wire um, with the two pieces here to make them go together. So let's try this out. 
All right, so you can see right here, um, I actually did one side just now because you guys might not know this, but I make these DIY projects up as I film them, so I need to always test and do one side of something first. But anyways, um, here we go. So you can see I have now basically sewn these two pieces together using the little pieces of wire you can see right there. Um, and this is how I just did that. You will take the wire, um, just, you can sort of see it. I know it's like really light, but here we go. You can see if I hold it in both hands. Um, you really don't need a lot, maybe just this much. You'll just go ahead and trim that. Boop. So you have just a nice little piece of wire. Then you're going to go ahead and connect um, this where you're going to want this to be. I flipped it over just so I could see where all the little beads are. Um, and then I will take the string. And like I said, you're theoretically going to be sewing this using the wire um, together. So here we go. You will take the little wire. I know you guys can't see this. I'm sorry. Um, and you can just poke it through one of the holes. Boom. It's like you're sewing. Ta-da. I wish I could explain this better, but so then you will just continue the process of going in and out, connecting this piece to this piece. You can kind of twist the wire as you go. Um, so it doesn't come off and that is how you will connect it to this. There we go. You can see I have wire sewn it. Um, can you see this? Kind of. These are all the little wires right here interconnecting the two pieces together. And voila! It is now wire sewn together, so we're just going to do that to every single piece so the whole thing can be connected. You can see this looks much more like a bra now. Um, we're just going to take the shoulder straps that we cut, right? here um, and we are going to attach this piece to this piece this piece to this piece and then of course this down around to the back of the bra um, so you can see this is kind of going to be the armhole here and this is going to be the triangle and this is where it clasps around so we are just going to connect all of these pieces one by one um, until it is all connected <laughs> So you can see one side is all done. I don't know why I did this upside down, so hang on. And we have the full triangle with it attached um, to the back end here. So now we will just do the other side and we will be all done. And ta-da, this is what it's gonna look like once it's on. It looks so stinking good. So here's some styling tips. What's cool about these is you can wear them with all sorts of things. This is like a fabulous little holiday dress from Want My Look. Um, and you can see it looks great with this very I mean, I wouldn't really wear it to like your husband's Christmas party or anything, but maybe, you know, for the aftermath. <laughs> it's super fun. Mm -mm. So there you have it, you guys. That is how I made my crystal bra. I hope you enjoyed the little tutorial. Um, I'm going to be making a thigh high jewelry thing tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Actually, I might even post it tonight. I don't know, depending on how I feel. So if it's already up, go ahead and click that. You can see how I made that as well. Um, so I hope you have lots of fun with your crystal bra accessories and all of your other jewelry and whatnot. Um, I made this choker in the same way I make all of my other chokers, so you can see a video on that too. I have that. I'm sure it's popping up in your recommended videos on the sidebar there. So. Woo! Lots to say today. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. As always, any questions, comments, concerns, all my socials are at Amber Scholl. And I look forward to seeing you guys. Tag me in your crystal DIYs because y'all know I love to see them. So until next time, kisses guys. I love you oh so very much. And continue to slay on. <laughs> XO. showing up to the PTA meeting like, mm-hmm.